Hey guys, it is Tuesday afternoon and this is just another update. Um, <clears throat> we slept in a bit this morning. We slept till 8 o'clock. Um, then we went over to my sister's and ate some breakfast and hung out a bit. We got didn't get things really started over here till almost 11, honestly. But we needed it, you know. It's like been the first morning in weeks that I didn't hit the floor running, you know, and doing stuff. There's still so much left to do, but we are definitely making a dent. And I honestly couldn't have done what I've done so far without Emery's help. She has been so much help to me. Y'all just don't know. She has learned how to blow bubbles. <laughs> so happy for her. It's just, there's been, it's just, I'm on autopilot, honestly, because what I'm doing, moving into my mom's house, going through her things, dealing with donating her clothing, all of that is really difficult um and it it i i i can't if you've never had to do it there's no way i could describe for you what it's like but it is a you know a decision was made and things have you know steps have been taken and so now this is where i'm at and these are the next steps to the next chapter in my life and it's it is a lot to deal with at once you know the loss of my mom the closing of my daycare this big move and and I'll be starting a new job I don't not sure which one yet but um so and then trying to get my own new business going and so it's just, there's a lot of, there's a whole lot of changes taking place right now. I sat on how to talk with my niece this morning and, um, she, she pointed it. She recognized it. I really didn't think anyone what did, but she did recognize that there's a lot of moving. What did she say? A lot of moving parts in my life right now. And, um, I have, you know, my family, I have some good friends and there's, there's so much going on right now. And so I'm on autopilot. And we just, you know, I put one foot in front of the other every day. I try not to think too much about what it is that I'm doing. Because if I did, if I thought too much on it, it I just couldn't do it. I, nothing would get done. And next thing you know... They'd be coming to put me in a home because I'd be living in this, <laughs> all of this chaos. But, you know, when it started out, this, this stuff was piled really high. Yeah, it was way high. And so was the, so there was no place to sit. And, um, but I've, you know, me and Emery, we've made a really good dent in it. I've moved things to the room they need to go in. Um. Each room still needs a lot of work done. Sandy's settled in her room, but that's, there's still stuff needs done in there. And I can't cook in the kitchen yet, but, you know, it's little by little, step by step, and it'll get done. And that, and that, so that's where I'm at. I'm just on autopilot. I'm in the lowest gear, <laughs> and I'm just not trying to think too much on it. Kathy, I did get, Cindy brought that box over. You sent me. Thank you very much. And I think I have a missing package already, according to... According to the mail delivery, I have, should have had a package in the mailbox yesterday. I am hoping that it comes today. Don't know. Don't know. And trying to get a hold of them is like, it's all automated. I can't speak to a real person to save my life. They have no information on the tracking number. So it's weird. I don't know. All right. I'm going to get off of here. Um, Emery's fixing to watch my mom's dog, Nikki. Yay. For my for my sister, she loves Yay. that dog, and uh, 
and I'm just, I'm on a break, and then I'll take a lot of breaks. I have to. And mentally, I'm going over in my head, okay, what needs to be done next? So, But this little girl has been a lifesaver, really. She's been so much help. All right, guys. That's the update for right now for today. Bye. Bye.